Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to this week in indoor football. We have a long and good season to go through all the way up leading up to the NAL championship on August the 12th. It's going to be one hell of a year, let me tell you. Um, we already have some shenanigans already in the in some of the leagues. We'll talk about that. And you'll even see the thumbnail for this week is just pure insanity. As we know in the indoor arena circles. And so for March 4th, what I have that I can find is, well, a lot of things. A lot of things I can find. Um, first things first, my picks for each of the major champions, that is the three big leagues, the CIF, the NAL, and the IFL. Um, first things first, you know, the IFL is going to come through Frisco. It is going to come through Frisco. I believe that roster is legit. And let me tell you, you know, yeah, you got your Arizonas. Yeah, you have your Massachusetts. Yeah, 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 I get it. But I'm going to be biased and say Frisco is winning this title this year. And watch me be completely wrong on that. You know, we were, I don't think we expected what we expected last year, did we? In the NAL, um, I, I think it's a fair shake to have Albany repeat and have a three-peat. I think it's fair. And then the CIF, Sioux City will win it. They have a nice roster. You know, check out um, Boy Dukon over at Arena Football Statement. He has a better, you explain. And I was like, hmm. You know, and I'm looking at rosters and stuff like that and the CIF Open League play tonight. Talk more about that in a moment, but, you know, I'm thinking with this roster, Sioux City has the materials needed to win a title. So in the hold up. So in the NAL, first things first. Before we go to um, our favorite scammer, first things first. Carolina Fayetteville. They're looking for some more additional owners to add to the block. And then good old Antonio Brown. Yes, the clown Antonio Brown. Providing finances with Eddie Brown, the legend, the legendary, you know, arena player. Eddie Brown doing more of a day-to-day -day type thing, you know. And then also the NAL added another new rule, the Manas rule, basically. It's the one point given to the receiving team if a kick goes out of bounds because Albany did that a lot of last year, apparently. I mean, I don't know. I guess. And then the... In, 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 uh, I, 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 I genuinely did not, you know, uh, I'm genuinely curious, people of Oklahoma City, I'm genuinely curious. You, you knew that Joe McClendon is a scamming, scam artist. You know he's a scam artist. You figured it out that he's a scam artist, and yet people gave him money anyway for a arena that was supposed to be built at Crossroads Mall in Oklahoma City. Didn't get built. Didn't have a permit. Nothing. And every single year, somebody falls for it. What part of stay far away from this man and stay away from this fake league does anybody not understand at this point I don't understand this this needs to stop I've made a video on it everybody else has you know said something about it why does somebody need to punch him in the face again? Because that is that is very much doable. Because this doesn't make any sense. How do you let this happen? Okay, see, y'all got scammed. 
And plus, remember, in Oklahoma, the last team that was in Oklahoma, you know, the Flying Aces, yeah, that team, um, wasn't there workers' comp issues with that team anyway? You know, so it was gonna be it was gonna be weird anyway, you know, with the whole workers' comp situation because we all know Joe can't afford that. Joe can't even play, Joe can't even pay for hotels for players. Joe can't pay for anything on his own. You know, and and McClendon yet again has gotten away with some scam artist type stuff, and he and he just continues to somehow get people. To pay him, it's crazy that they paid him one person from that article that, you know, a lot of us read, paid him money. It's like, why? Why would you do this? Why would you let this happen? I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. I'm, 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 I can't, I can't believe y'all. I can't believe y'all. Y'all did it again. Oh, Lordy. So in the CIF, the scores, it took, a, it took a long while because the streams for Topeka and Salina and more, more urgently, the Rapid City, Sioux City game, they, they, they were, they were god-awful. Omaha had a non-league game tonight as well, but who cares about that? So Gillette surprised me completely tonight. Beat up on Southwest Kansas. Uh, they got a nice quarterback out there by the name of Pena. Threw four of them. Um, Salina and Sioux City scored 75 apiece. And I believe, you know, this will be the R2 teams. Some some might say Omaha as well, but it'll be a combination of those three. Again, I think Sioux City will win it all in the CIF this year. And so, you know, Rapid City and Topeka basically got blown out. Both Sioux City and Salina put up 75 apiece. So that's wild. Um, the L, well, not yet, not yet, not, but not yet. That's not my LOL moment of the week, but Texas Pride, where are they? Where are you guys at? Because, you know, you said. You had free tryouts today. You had to move it to Sunday. And apparently, and people have pointed this out on your Facebook, that it's not the right place, not the right stadium where you have those posted. And keep in mind, I live in this area now. So I live near Mesquite now. So I do. So I might have to go out and do some investigating of my own to see if Texas Pride are going to be out there. You know, because they said, you know, it was going to be, you know, Hamby Stadium, but they had the wrong address there. And it might be, you know, now at Memorial Stadium. I believe that's the right address for it. But who knows? We'll, if 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 it's if it happens, it happens. I've seen, like, maybe, like, one or two videos. But I think that's... Uh, the other league. We'll talk. We'll talk about the Arena League in a moment. Um, Southern Renegades. I, I thought they were dead for a second, but back they're playing a few AIFA teams. So um, just be mindful of that. They're they're still alive for now. Um, and there's the current AIFA listings on the site. You know for who the teams are. So again, it kind of looks weird. The Pride have a full schedule. I've checked everything. I've checked the AWFC teams' websites. I've checked some of the other AIFA teams, you know. And it seems like I don't know what's happened. Um, I, I'm not sure. I, I even asked, hey, what's going on? Is there something weird going on with, with the Pride? Who knows at this point? But if they're still playing in the AIFA, good on them. But if not, that's going to lead to some trouble because, again, the AIFA begins their season in a couple weeks with a non-league game, of course.
um, are go back, go back, go back. Um, are 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 usual suspects in this new TAL? The other TAL they're planning on playing again, also near where I live at at Mesquite Arena. It's like a ten minute, like a ten minute drive I found for me. So. The Arena League planning to play all their games in the Mesquite Arena starting uh, March. That, that should say March the 5th, but but uh, yeah, we will see because I have found absolutely nothing that says that this, that this league will be playing their games there. I have found nothing at all. So if they do play their games there, it's it's going to be something, you know, it's going to be something to see unfold because I'm going to have to go down and, again, probably do some investigating of my own for this. But I don't really want to spend any of my money because I am a broke guy, so I'm not going to do all that. But the LOL moment of the week is the Great Lakes Arena Alliance um, this week because we're unsure if Battle Creek, you know, the new Battle Creek team and the Chicago Blower, we're I'm unsure if they played or not. And the other thing is, aside from the GLA's logo, you know, Western Michigan, the West Michigan Ironman, why would you charge five people, you know, not five people, but why would you charge five dollars to have people watch your games? Have you, have you no shame? You're you're putting this type of product out, and I was confused myself. You know, you know is are things going the way that they're going? I, I, I don't know I don't know how things are going the way that they're going but it certainly ain't you know it certainly ain't this type of thing because I don't know what this is this is disgusting this is this is this is disgusting and you'll see you'll see I I, I, I have I have the proof Proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. And this is not for this week. This is for the game on March the 18th that, you know, will take place. And you see, they have the online stream, $5 to watch a stream online. With an extra but twenty five to add on to it, so six dollars and twenty five cents to watch one game, you know, and it it's it, it's bad enough that West Michigan, you know, and I thought I was gonna be able to, you know, congratulate them and everything like that. You know, they got a league because again, Chicago, the Chicago Power, are a little bit more legit and everything like that. But then again, West Michigan's like blown them out every time they played for the most part. And this is awful. This is an awful, awful look for them already. And I think. At the end of the day, the Ironmen need to decide, you know. You say you want stability. You say you want, you know, you say you want to have a, a lead that doesn't, you know, you know, do all this other stuff, do all this nonsense to you, you know, you know, screw you over and everything. But this is screwing over the fans. This is. This is not the way to do it right here. And this is for a single game, by the way. This is not, this is not, you know, this is not, you know, a simple type of, you know, ESPN Plus type deal. This is for a single game. This is six bucks. 
or a single game. You know what I can get with six bucks? Absolutely nothing in this economy, but that that doesn't that doesn't change, you know, what I'm saying. What I'm saying is is that this is highway robbery. And it has to stop. LOL moment of the week for sure. Because how do you justify, you know, playing teams that are just not, they're just not it. They're not good. You know, uh, you know, the Ohio Blitz, they played tonight. And again, there was supposed to be a doubleheader. And originally, West Michigan was supposed to play Chicago because they released their schedule and, you know, their home game had Chicago first. So I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure what's going on. So, like, the GLA ain't even doing nothing. You know, they're not really promoting anything on their social media. And they made a few posts. You know, they made, made one for the night. But, I mean, come on. It's about it. It's nothing special. And at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's going to be It's going to be something. For Western Michigan to think about because this this right here is 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 awful. I don't even know I don't even know what else to say at this point because we're not e- we're not even we're not even technically one night into the season and already something stupid has happened. What are we going to get? For, what are we going to get when the IFL and the NAL kick off? What are we going to get with that? I I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you, man. I couldn't tell you. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll see y'all again next week because I, I, I'm still gonna I'm gonna continue to face palm at how stupid this West Michigan thing is. I I. I, I I just can't. <laughs> I can't, man. They really said that they were gonna charge six bucks to watch a game, a single game. You gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. 